Hey, what's up? My name is Chris, and welcome to Coding in Public. This is a series on using Notion as a simple CMS for a website. Now, I recently had a client with a small team that needed to occasionally update a small section on their website, and it was really the only thing they needed that wasn't just static. And so I learned that they were using Notion to keep track of the content and figured it might be a nice time to try to explore the relatively new Notion API. So you don't need to always reinvent the wheel or require some client to learn a CMS, however basic uh, that might be. So here's the way I set it up for them. You can see here that they have a team here and they might wanna move these little cards. I've got it just set up like a little Kanban board here. Move them from needs review or to, to ready to publish. And then they might move it over to live once it's ready. Anything that's live then just dynamically pulls whenever somebody visits their site. And we're using a Netlify function to do the back end, and then we're just making a, a JavaScript fetch, fetch on the front end. It's not the fastest thing because it's not really meant for this. But like I said, sometimes you don't need to reinvent the wheel if it's something basic like this. So I'm going to show you how to do this. And uh, you can see that I can come in here and let's see, here's, there is a title. Let's change this to uh, here is a title like that. And then I'll go ahead and go here and then refresh here. And automatically it's already updated here as a title. I can also drag things over this way and then refresh. And again, that fetch will happen. And you can see it shows up in the second card uh, right here. And then these other ones uh, show below. So I'm going to show you how to set this up so that you can just basically from an app on your phone, from the web view, from the desktop client, you can just add stuff to your Notion database and it will automatically populate on your site. So in this series, I'm going to show you how to set up a Notion integration with the database, how to publish your site with Netlify, how to create a Netlify serverless function with the Netlify CLI and the Notion SDK for JavaScript, how to fetch your Notion data, and finally, how to improve the loading user experience with a skeleton loading animation. Along the way, we'll use VJS to build out the site, play along with a new open props web design system, and more. Now, before you jump into the series, let me lay out a few assumptions and dependencies. I'm assuming you have a basic grasp of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. I'm gonna to try to keep the series as short as possible, so I'm not gonna be thoroughly explaining all those concepts as we move. For dependencies, I'm going to assume that you have Git and Node.js 12.0 or greater on your machine. If you're not sure if you have Git or Node.js, you can type either and then dash dash version like this, and it will show that you have some version. I'm running Git 2.29.2. Uh, you can do the same thing with Node version like that. You do need NPM as well like that. So you'll want to make sure you have that. If you don't have those, I'll leave some links to the description. In the description, you can just grab Node.js here, install it, and you should be good to go. And then you want Git on your machine and then some kind of uh, repository that you can point towards Netlify. All right. Well, finally, if you get stuck, go ahead and check out the GitHub link. I've got it in the description here. The finished code for the entire project is in the main branch here. And then the starting point for each video is in these following branches, starting two, three, four, five, six. Now, I don't have one for starting one because in lesson one, we're gonna start with nothing. So you don't need to download that. But if you're jumping in halfway through, you can just jump straight into lesson two and you'll pick up with whatever code we finished in lesson one. Finally, uh, I do have a community improvements branch and feel free to go ahead and leave a, an issue or fork it, create a pull request if you have some improvement you'd like to see, or you can just leave a comment in the description. I'm sure you can make this better than what I've done here in this simple tutorial, but enough talking. Let's go ahead and jump right in with video number one, setting up the basic site with VJS. Thanks for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Happy coding.